Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. Uh, today we have a trailer for Frankenstein 1970, which was the first Frankenstein picture made in America in quite a while, since the Universals, and uh, was a, a comeback vehicle, sort of, for Boris Karloff, which uh, was quite successful in its day, uh, and has a pretty checkered reputation, I would say, with the fans. But uh, it has some good stuff in it. Here it is. Karloff is back. Well, for some of us, he'd never been away, because when I was a kid in 1958, I had only heard Boris Karloff's name. And in fact, uh, when I saw him in the first movie that I'd seen him in, which was Voodoo Island, I did, wasn't even sure which actor he was. Uh, however, Frankenstein 1970, which was the second picture in a pact that Boris made with producer Howard Koch, was released after the Shock Theatre package was released to television in 1957 and uh, all of a sudden the movies that had been previously off limits to us kids were now being shown and people were becoming more familiar with the actors from the 40s and 30s so Karloff now was a bigger a bigger name and this picture really benefited from that this picture also benefits from the fact that it was shot on leftover sets from the Diana Barrymore biography too much too soon particularly a castle set and the concept here is actually kind of cool I mean the idea is that there's a TV crew wants to do a series about Frankenstein, and they go to the Frankenstein castle, and they get Baron Frankenstein uh, involved, and he basically is using them as uh, raw meat for his new monster that he's making in the basement with his atomic reactor. Uh, there's a, a, a number of gruesome kind of eyeball shots and some beating hearts and stuff like that, and legend has it that Boris was a little put off by this, and that he didn't really think very fondly of this picture. He thought of it even less fondly when the third picture in the supposed three-picture deal didn't materialize and he didn't get paid for it. So <laughs> this was not high on Boris's list of favorite movies. It's generally regarded by the fans as kind of a cheat because it's got this great opening with this monster chasing a girl and then it turns out to just be a movie they're making. Of course, in the trailer, it doesn't look that way. And at the end of the movie, the monster that Boris has made I hate to give this away, but it has his own face because he uh, is trying to perpetuate himself and apparently he was scarred in the uh, camps and, and working for Nazi Germany. Although it's not the world's greatest movie and, and Boris is over the top in a lot of the scenes, I always found it rather amusing and uh, so I have a kind of a soft spot for this one.